So let's move a little bit further south on the western side of the South Atlantic Ocean. Just a little map in the top left. You can see the Brazil current. Just discussed it. Let's activate the mouse. The mouse is activated. Brazil current separating from the coast around 40 degrees south. But there is another current which is called Malvinas current. It's a shelf break current which moves to the north and moves colder water north. There's one significant feature of this current, Malvinas current, is that it produces a significant upwelling of nutrients into the euphotic zone, and you get a band of high plankton concentration along the shelf break. Here, the shelf break is the region where on one side you have the shelf with less than 200 meter total water depth, and on the other side you have the continental slope reaching down to the, to the very deep, to the deep sea. And here in the middle you, sh you see in, in a satellite image showing you this band of chlorophyll, high chlorophyll concentrations, and we're talking about um, values of, up, of exceeding 2 milligrams per cubic meter, quite significant. You can even see uh, the activities in terms of squid fishing vessels in satellite images of the lights along the shelf break. You can see the shelf break in terms of the number of vessels using light along the shelf. So now this type of upwelling is a special type of upwelling. It's not driven by the wind. It's actually driven by the current itself. So what the what the idea is is what the what the field observations point to is that the current, which is shown here in a little sketch, if you look from the side, the current goes runs northward and it produces an Ekman a layer near the bottom that produces a convergence and moves nutrient-rich water up into the earth for Okay, it's a current-driven upwelling that produces this feature along. Okay, so this is a very fascinating feature and a very significant area in terms of phytoplankton productivity. 